So what's going on everyone? Thank you for tuning back in to another day of butchering. Today is day two of pig butchering and if you saw yesterday's video, we only got one harvested. Today we're gonna do the second one. I got my grandfather's Cotier 22 and we're gonna go out here and harvest ourselves a pig. Today is really a big milestone for this farm. This is the second year we butchered our own pigs and we have learned so much. It is such a huge learning curve that we're on and it's such a privilege to be able to do that with our kids watching. I mean, they are learning so much as well. They're learning where their food is coming from. They know what goes into it and the hard work that it takes for it to get on our dinner plate. For those of you that don't know, we raise Berkshire pigs and we get them from Grumbine Farms here locally. It is a 19 year old kid, young man, uh, that has been raising pigs since he was seven in the 4-H program. And now he has his own pig business. He shows Berkshire pigs at farm shows he also raises feeder pigs, and he also has his own butchering shop, which is pretty cool for being 19 years old. And just talking with him when we pick up our feeder pigs, he has a lot of passion for these pigs, especially Berkshire pigs. And it's really nice to see uh, this younger generation continuing to grow in farming and just bringing it along. I mean, we're still new at it. He probably knows a lot more than we do about pigs. Uh, so it's, you know, I'm talking to this young man and he, you know, he's really mature and it's really nice to see uh, these mature kids just growing up and farming. Today we got a jump start. We got the burner going at six o'clock and we doubled up. We ended up buying a second burner so we're maybe an hour and a half ahead of schedule from yesterday, which is awesome because we're gonna have more time to do some stuff. You ready, Jet? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Let's do it. Let the harvesting begin. This one is the girl. Oh, okay. I think the smallest one's on the end. Though. I don't agree. These two look like the bigger ones. I'm thinking I'm agreeing that this is smaller. What a clean harvest that was. That was so good. He was sleeping. He didn't even know what hit him and he was knocked out. And now it's the hard part. We gotta drag it and get to dunking and scraping. Over. He's over too. Jesus. Yep. So Ida, I want to let you know you're getting a break today. Alright? 
you pleaded your case and we're gonna allow you to stay but you have to stay in your pen all right no more getting out no more getting the trash or dog food all right that's not where you belong okay that's gross food you gotta eat healthy food all right so we got two Berkshires we're gonna keep Ida uh, right now I think we're more attached to him than anything and yeah buddy you want to go inside all right buddy yeah did you have fun all right I love you so yeah we are more attached to him than anything right now and we're gonna keep him. I know we say we're not a petting zoo, however, he's sticking around. Today is basically gonna be the same process as that we did yesterday. However, we're looking to improve, and so far, it's going very well. Uh, we had a great harvest, we deblooded it great, and we got it here on the scale within 45 minutes, not even, I would say, under a half an hour and this pig is 204 pounds it's not the ideal butchering weight you were kind of want like 250 or bigger however like I said in yesterday's video it's time for us to butcher uh, we're at a point where we have to and this is what we're doing for us this is for our food and we can't wait to eat it All right, so once again, this is gonna go really fast. What we're gonna be doing is dumping these barrels of water into this trough, and we're gonna get the temperature down to 150, 155. We're gonna let the pig soak for three minutes. As soon as that hair can really come off clean, we're gonna pull them out and start scraping. This is the hard part that we are learning, and it was better Let's see if it can get better today. Okay, cool. <laughs> Probably should turn that water back on, huh? Okay. So we are getting the water down to the perfect temp. I have to point out, I know I say it over and over, Helen is always in the background, but we have been here, we washed the pig, we got it up here, we dumped the water, and Helen is just hanging out with us watching this is amazing it she likes Chris that that's the thing everywhere Chris goes Helen goes and I just think it's hilarious that she's just chilling out hanging out with us it's just like a cheerleader with the pig could be creeping up a little bit to 160 there we'll drop some when we throw her in yeah which side do you want Hey! Daddy, I hey! Yeah, Come right on up. over! It's coming right off your feet. We're just turning it. Good, good, good. Ah. Come on, you guys ready to start skinning? Me! Come on, get your. Oh! Daddy. It's coming right off the feet. Yep. Oh, yeah, with come a on. Stick? With a stick. Coming off with a stick. Who needs a fancy scraper? <laughs> 
Thanks. Feed Mother Nature. Wait till you hear Jeremy's idea. He's pretty pumped about it. Dude, scrape it off with your teeth. Pressure washer. I thought that's what you got the pressure washer out for, actually. We hook it up to the hot water. Well, okay, no more water. To the hot water. To the hot water. Look at that. It went off like nothing. Oh, that's hot, 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 hot. Go right west. Yeah, be careful, buddy. Where we at? Where we at? Different We're at 50, 55 seconds left. All right. So what? Three minutes. Mark. And then you gotta take them out so you can cook? Yeah. yeah. Um, this is wobbly. I, I stood here and moved. Careful guys. Okay, we're gonna flip him right up there, all right? All right, so let's back off here, because here comes the pig. He's coming up here. Dude, look at that. Look at that. Yep. Yep. Dude, this is you it. This is it. This is where it's... I want to go back up. I want to go up there. Victory! Wes, come down here until they get the pig back in the water. So we're gonna put this him up is... here. Oh. I want to get in there. In the water? Ooh. No. With that piggy? No! I want to like to take a bath from that. That's how you do it. Can we take it up? Right. Oh, Jerry, you want to come over here? These aren't texting gloves. Oh, that's right. Whoa, it's so baggy. That's so baggy. Oh, oh, he slipped right off. Ah. She rolled him up Whoa. like it was. Whoa. Hey, Wes, can I go piss out that so we can just get started and I will let you go. Dude, this is awesome. Look at that. I don't even know what to focus on. So I'm just doing the hardest parts first. This is... This is like the video we've watched, this? right? This, yeah. This is oh, amazing. Oh, no. Yeah. His nose is bleeding. Oh, no. He has Amazon, a order more <laughs> scrapers. Daddy! Yeah. The pig has a bloody nose. Oh, man. Oh, perfect. That's probably the least of his worries, though. I don't think he might feel it. Seriously, by the time you go get a spoon, it'll be good, okay? Go get me a spoon, and then you can, I'll give you this. Run! Switch gloves. Get a big, get a big metal spoon. Look at these kids watching. You enjoying the show? Are you most excited for bacon or sausage? Yeah, sausage. Or pork chops? I'm gonna dance. You're gonna dance? Yeah, oh. like, like do you watch me dance? I wanna see you dance. Let me see it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Is that your happy pig dance? Yeah. Um, Oh, that's a nice piggy dance. It's Jovi Daisy. It's Jovi Daisy. Daisy, it's Jovi. Yeah, and Piggy has a bloody nose. Piggy has a bloody nose, Jovi. Yeah. See? No. Why do you never read dunk it? No. Yeah. Can you tell it's like harder to come off the longer it's been out? What do you think, Landis? Hey, buddy. Mama, how come the chain is it? To help. Timer. Can we count to 60? Four, five, six. Well, after this, pressure washer, man. We'll fill it up for you. <laughs> you can come out here and soak in the pig trough. Just like that commercial. We'll put it up on the hill for you. Underneath well, the tree I have of to life. Walk all the way back. We'll do it at like night. We'll do it at night. She doesn't care. She's naked walking through the field. She doesn't want to be cold. Yeah, she doesn't want to be cold. Flip. Oh my gosh. All right, it's been a minute. Oh no. 
gosh. Which one is it? Wow, what an amazing scraping. Look at this pig, it's naked. Under 20 minutes it took us. What an improvement from, la from last year, from even yesterday. The, tr the ticket was leaving it in for the full three minutes for sure. I mean, we were scraping the hair off with a stick. I mean, we got, it's looking really good right now. Besides all the loose hair that's on it right now. I mean, we got the feet all scraped up. We're even getting the face. It's looking really good. Right now, it looks a little dirty. However, I tell you what, it was awesome. This whole process, it's 10.30 right now. Yesterday, a pig wasn't even harvested yet. And right now, we're about to gut very shortly, within maybe 20 minutes after we're done scraping off the rest of the little hairs. This is awesome, I'm really excited. What a game changer, just a little bit more time, a little bit more patience. And it's going so smooth. Look at this pig, isn't it pretty? Probably a total of 30 minutes, even the minor, you know, close up details, the face, around the ankles and the hooves and oh what a win today this was awesome this Agreed. is sweet this is good this was really good worked out well i mean all this this is just all loose hair that we need a pressure washer off get nice and clean and then we're gonna drop the belly What an accomplishment today. And the only difference is that little bit extra time. A little bit extra time being patient, making sure it is in the water long enough. And when we got it out, it, it went awesome. This thing was done at 11.07. We had it cut and we're in the books for today. This went really good. This is the setup, the trough. This is awesome. We got two Bunsen burners. We got plenty of water. Man, probably the only thing we need is more scrapers and it'll be it'll go even faster, but just the two of us, it went really, really good. I am super excited. I mean, we couldn't, nothing to complain about today. Not today, no way. Everything went perfect. Yeah, it's something to really be proud of. I know I am and I know Chris is and I know the girls are because we're three hours done sooner. That's ahead of schedule. Yeah, ahead of schedule. So I'm gonna wrap this video up. I appreciate you guys tuning in. This wasn't a really how to because we're still learning how to. And I just appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch our lives. And if you haven't, please hit that subscribe button. Don't be afraid to give me a thumbs up and also leave some comments and we will see you guys around. Hit that subscribe button.